Have you ever wondered what it's like living in the exploding neighborhood of Atlanta's West Midtown? Like any neighborhood, there are definitely some pros and cons you'll want to know about before making any decision on whether that's the perfect spot for you or not. As a resident expert in the Midtown neighborhoods for almost 22 years now, I've compiled this list that you will find to be most valuable in making a determination about how you feel about this particular neighborhood. As always, if you do have any questions as you go throughout the video, please don't hesitate to comment those below and I'll be more than happy to get you the answers. <laughs> Hey there, I'm Brew Krabs, your local real estate expert right here in Atlanta's own in-town real estate market. You know, I've served in our neighborhoods for over 22 years and I've had the opportunity to learn and grow with them. It really is my privilege today to be able to share my knowledge and expertise with you and I hope that you find it valuable. So here are the top 10 pros of living in Atlanta's West Midtown. And pro number one is its location. West Midtown is centrally located in Atlanta, making it easy to access the city's various amenities and all those great attractions. With easy access to Interstate 75 and 85, close proximity to Midtown, Downtown, Buckhead, as well as that West Side Beltline Trail, location is a great factor that really benefits the West Midtown neighborhood. Number two is that walkability. The neighborhood is very walkable with plenty of sidewalks and trails. With the newly installed West Side Beltline Trail, walking paths all throughout the city, restaurants, shopping, nightlife areas, and everything, West Midtown has become a very walkable neighborhood, even in the day and the night times. And number three on the list is culture. West Midtown has a vibrant arts and culture scene with plenty of galleries, mu music venues, and some great little theaters too. As a home to some of these great underground theaters, art galleries, and other cultural attractions, West Midtown is one of the best places to find culture in the city. It is extremely diverse and often quite eclectic. Number four pro on my list are those restaurants. You can't talk about West Midtown without talking about those restaurants because there are truly some of the best over there, ranging from those casual eateries to those fine dining establishments. You know, whether you're looking for that high end like Bacchanalia, Cooks and Soldier, or just some casual dining like Taco Del Sol, there really is a bite and taste for everyone. Pro number five is shopping. West Midtown has a variety of shopping options from boutiques to those larger retailers. West Midtown has some of the most eclectic shopping in the city. With a vast array of boutique shops and businesses, you'll find some of the most unique shopping in all of the Atlanta area. You can't talk about West Midtown without talking about number six, which is diversity. The neighborhood is diverse with residents from all walks of life and various backgrounds. You really can't help but notice this diversity in West Midtown with its large LGBTQ population, as well as its many international residents and even some of your great locals. You'll find a great mix of wonderful people who are super friendly all throughout West Midtown. Of course, number seven is there are some great green spaces in West Midtown. Now they're generally not in that downtown area, but as you go out a little bit, there are some great uh, spots, including the West Side Reservoir Park. And the West Side Reservoir Park is now Atlanta's largest park and has some of Atlanta's newest and greatest attractions. Plus that West Side Beltline Trail, it helps connect those smaller parks all throughout the area. And number eight is that nightlife. The neighborhood has a lively nightlife scene with plenty of bars and clubs. Many of the clubs and the nightlife in West Midtown are some of the most avant-garde in the Southeast. Whether you're looking for modern hip hop, EDM, or just casual club life, West Midtown may have the perfect spot for you. Pro number nine, and one of the best ones, is its employment. West Midtown is home to several major employers, including Georgia Tech and Coca-Cola. Moreover, its close proximity to Atlanta's midtown and downtown areas, there is access to some of the best Fortune 500 companies in all of the United States. Now, pro number 10 and the last one I'm going to talk about today is its real estate. The neighborhood has a range of real estate options from modern apartments to historic homes. In recent years, we've seen an economic boom in real estate in this area. Lots of new condominiums, new townhome developments, and some single family developments right here in the neighborhood. And it really does make it a great place with lots of options. And some of them are actually somewhat affordable still. So those are some of the great benefits of living in West Midtown. 
But now let's step in and take a look at 10 cons of living in that neighborhood. And the first one on the list is that neighborhood's central location Really, it can often also lead to some heavy traffic congestion. You know, I get it. Anywhere in town Atlanta can see traffic, right? But like most of those urban city centers, neighborhoods that have become so popular here in the Atlanta Metro in the last few years, the density of both the residential and the commercial spots combined, they really put a lot of cars on the road and there really is no public transportation to speak of. The next con on my list is parking. You know, parking can be a challenge in West Midtown. There's very limited street parking and those garage options are really, really expensive sometimes. But of course we can't talk about any urban center without talking about the lack of parking, right? When you find such a high density, you'll find the demand for that parking really does go up. And I mean, so does the price uh, respectively. It's not uncommon to find parking, uh, even just for a couple hours, that may be 10 or $20 in the West Midtown neighborhood. The next con on my list is noise. The lively nightlife scene, it can also lead to that noise pollution, particularly on those weekends. It can get kind of rowdy in West Midtown when the party gets cranked up. Whether you're talking about those clubs and bars like Compound Holiday or even Painted Duck, or those amazing restaurants like The Optimist, Barcelona, or Cooks and Soldier. There's a lot to get worked up over in West Midtown, and yeah, maybe it gets a little loud. The next con on my list, like any urban area, is crime. You know, we see this all over the city and West Midtown is no exception, with one of the higher crime rates than some of others Atlanta more suburban neighborhoods. So the next con on my list actually is cost of living. The neighborhood's popularity really has driven up those housing prices over the last few years, making it more expensive to live in than some of the other parts of Atlanta, maybe even some of your suburban neighborhoods. With condominiums priced from 300,000 up to 1.3 million, townhomes from around 400,000 to 1.125, and single family homes starting typically around 500,000, ranging up to maybe 2 million. There's a wide range of choices in West Midtown. You know, like most of the neighborhoods where we've seen these prices rise and the city centers come into place, we've also seen our next con on the list, which is gentrification. The neighborhood's rapid growth and development really has led to a lot of concerns about that gentrification and the displacement of longtime residents of the neighborhood. Anyone who lives in the city has noticed the gentrification of most of these in-town areas. In West, West Midtown, it really is absolutely no exception. And gentrification leads really to my next con, which is homelessness. Like many urban areas, West Midtown also has a visible homeless population and the city and the, and the neighborhood associations are always actively working to improve the conditions here. Of course, you can't talk about any neighborhood without talking about its schools. And well, it's really a, a con for West Midtown because if you're looking for uh, high quality public schools, those in West Midtown, they, they tend to rank lower on the scale than many of the other in-town neighborhoods. But there are some great charter schools and private schools in the area like Paideia or the Suzuki School or even the Children's School right there in regular old Midtown. Now, the next con on my list is a lack of green space. You know, while West Midtown does have some parks and green spaces, a lot of the residents there feel like there really are not enough of them. Within the urban city center, of course, itself, it's definitely become a serious concrete jungle. But then, of course, there are the parks that are nearby, like the Reservoir Park and Piedmont Park, and of course, that amazing West Side Beltline Trail. And my 10th and final con for the West Midtown neighborhood is congestion. With so much development happening in the area, some residents feel the neighborhood has really become too congested and crowded. And you can certainly see this in West Midtown. People are always walking around and you always see a bunch of friendly faces. Like any neighborhood, there are pros and cons of living in Atlanta's West Midtown. I hope today's video has provided some great insight into some of what some of those top pros and cons are. And as always, if you do have any questions about these, please don't hesitate to reach out to me by text or calling me anytime. And I'd just like to say that West Midtown is a great neighborhood overall. And the benefits, they certainly outweigh the challenges. It's a vibrant and diverse community with so much to offer, whether you're looking for great food, culture, or nightlife. However, it is important to be aware of those challenges as well, particularly if you're considering moving to the area. Thanks again so much for tuning into this video today. I'm super passionate about Atlanta and in town, and it really is my pleasure to be your real estate expert in the Atlanta area. If you did find this video valuable, please do though consider giving it a like and sharing it with a friend. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking that little bell button to be notified when those new videos come out. I've got great new content coming out all the time about Atlanta, motivation, and so many other things, and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. 
Again, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate you. And if you did like this video, I know you're gonna love the next one that pops up on your screen.